Hello, my friends. Saying hi to you from the Peruvian jungle. Let's go for a walk. So today is the is day nine or day ten. Is the day, day ten actual of the retreat that I'm retreat that I'm giving here. A small group of people here with me. Nice, amazing people, and. Uh, We've been taking, we've been doing these master plan ceremonies, ayahuasca ceremonies, mapacho, tobacco ceremony. We had four ayahuasca ceremonies so far. And, and I've been guiding meditation and yoga practices. So it's been really intense time for all of us. It's been really nice and amazing time for all of us. This is a really nice place, as you can see. This place in the jungle, we have like, you know, two rivers around. So when it is caught, as it usually is in the jungle, you just go and, you know, you just go into the water, go into the river. It feels great. So yeah, you, we've been living some really intense spiritual things especially with the ceremonies that we have had you know I have experience in with the ayahuasca already like maybe like 10 years or something 9 10 years and it is a great privilege for me to to be a part of it, to be helping during those ceremonies. You can see there's plenty of life here, such as these small ants, what are they doing? You know, and they're walking all around the trees and you never know what you're gonna see. Some big ants, the giant ant, that you know sting you pretty hard then there are some snakes a friend of mine almost stepped on one snake a few days ago so you have to be awake here you have to be aware all of the time which is also an intense spiritual practice a practice of awareness So in this retreat center we have plenty of huts, houses, small houses like this, like 15 of them. They are called tambos and they are actually the places where participants or people go into isolation. Well, they actually spend their time, they sleep there, but they can isolate themselves and just stay there all the time and do their practice meditate, do their concentration things, you know, and these are quite comfortable little houses, little huts. It's a nice place. I must admit this is a nice place and it, had it, it has been always improving since the first time I came here about seven years ago. This is the place where I actually had the baby sloth. If you remember my older videos, that was like five, I don't know, like five years ago, right? It was before my son was born. My son's five now, so like five years ago I had my baby sloth here. This little slow animal, you know, with these three claws. That would be staying with me all the time, I was the mother for it. So this place actually holds a lot of memories and you can see more of these so-called tambos, more of these houses where one can practice, you know, and stay. You wanna see how it is inside? This is more of the simple ones, you know, so basically you have, you know, you also have the yamak right now, there is no yamak in this one. They are better tambos as well. 
and right there is the place where you see this is the place where we do the ceremonies this is the place where we yeah these ayahuasca ceremonies during the past week this is where a lot of healings take place a lot of interesting and intense things happen many times people ask me how do you feel the Lama when you know you're going to give the ayahuasca ceremony tonight how do you feel about that and my answer usually surprises them when I say that I feel like I'm going to the war I feel like I'm actually going to the war and that is true when going into the ayahuasca ceremony I don't know what is going to happen you never know what is going to happen and this is a great test for you to you know to always be ready for anything that happens because you you as a guide you are responsible and you have to cope with the situation and by trusting the plant by trusting the plant ayahuasca in this case that is conscious of itself you understand what to do how to deal with situations because there are many things that that happen that may happen and and these are really intense things that are going on many times people feel that they are going to die because the experience can be really intense you know so you know what you have you know what you have to do and you have to help people and for me it is a great honor and privilege to be to be it to be a part of the transformation for the people this is a great blessing actually let's go inside the in the ceremony house it's called Maloka Maloka it is called so right now we have a few of these you see mattresses that people sit or lay down during the ceremony this one is mine and you know after drinking the plant in the night we start having the experience like half an hour later or more time later it depends actually and and tonight we are going to have a ceremony as well the past few days were more difficult for me personally because you know I have a son Cory is his name he's five years now five years old so he's having some real health issues right now he's having seizures and that that is that is a concern for me he's still, he's still at the hospital and uh, I'm thinking about him a lot and during the ceremonies, the last ceremony the day before ayahuasca ceremony I mean I was working on him as well you know when you are in that effect of ayahuasca in that state you can you can do certain things or you can do a lot of things that you wouldn't be able to do that or at least that easily like right now so I could see him with his living, with his feeling and I could work on him a little bit which I'm looking forward to do tonight because tonight I'm going to give, lead, guide another ceremony of course the priority is people that have come to take the ceremony with me I'm here to help them, to facilitate 
to help them go through their experiences but if and when they are okay and I have some time I will definitely work on my son which I'm looking forward to do and I'm also thinking on doing a ceremony myself after my friends are gone and just concentrating on the whole of my intention, effort, love towards my son I'm going back to my tambo back to my little hut, little house and I enjoy this walk you see when it is more muddy you can walk on these stones and I I always or most of the time I walk like this barefooted which I love to do I love to feel the nature I love to feel my connection with it it's one of the most beautiful things to feel for me and I never really had big problems with that well you always have you you tend to have problems if you walk a lot barefoot you can you know you can fracture your toe or something it is especially dangerous when you are in the jungle you can you know if there is a snake scorpion there is some tarantula some big you know isula ant you may have big problems with that it can be even deadly for you especially if you are far away from from people or somewhere where, where you can receive medical help such as any injection but I never had problems with any of those animals biting me I just know that I love them I respect them and they respect me Actually, if you are afraid of those snakes, if you are afraid of those ants and of those creatures, then actually it is much more probable that they are going to attack you, because if you are in a proximity with them and you are afraid of them, they feel your fear. You know, fear is like chemical, the chemistry of your body. And they feel your fear and they attack you. It is just natural. But if you are peaceful, if you are loving, they will not perceive you as a threat and they will just be okay with you and they won't attack you. So this is, this is a very beautiful thing for me, our connection with, with nature, with animals and actually my connection with animals, that they never had any problems or issues with any animals even though I have seen I have had encounters with anacondas with bears with snakes with wolves real close encounters you know <laughs> quite plenty of them but I never had any problem with that you know? and see how it is it's a beautiful place Let's see if I can get on this log and show you the river. So my friends just went there to to get the suntan and jump in the water. I'm happy they are enjoying this place. I'm happy they are enjoying this time with me, this retreat with me. We are meditating a lot. I'm happy my the people who came, my friends, I call them my friends, they are my friends, my brothers they are happy to do yoga poses or asanas with me this morning we did like almost one hour and a half meditation and breathing practices and we'll do some more meditation this evening before the ayahuasca ceremony which is going to be our last one 
and I really have a beautiful and good feeling about tonight. Take care. I'm going back into my house to meditate.